Here we have up for sales an absolutely gorgeous, very rare and pristine Featherlight aluminum three car wedge trailer. This truck is also for sale. It's a separate vehicle uh, from this uh, auction. But we just have it on there so you can see how the trailer looks set up. Uh, we actually bought this trailer. Uh, I'm the owner of Davis Auto Sports. I personally bought this trailer about two years ago uh, from the original owner who was a, uh, it was a non-commercial use trailer. Uh, he was an avid car collector, uh, went to car shows uh, all over the country and would use this uh, to bring cars to car shows. He attended all the high-end auctions. Uh, so this was his personal trailer that he used to uh, pick up vehicles that he was buying, uh, bringing vehicles to car shows. He was a retired gentleman who was just huge in the car. So um, when I saw this online, I was in the market for about six months. Uh, I wanted the nicest three car feather light that I could find. And uh, when I saw this, uh, I knew it was the right one. Uh, he actually had this trailer. Uh, he had a humongous steel building uh, on his property. Uh, with this trailer, uh, all his vehicles, it was a humongous building. So this trailer, believe it or not, I absolutely promise you, uh, was stored inside of his steel building the entire time that he owned it, besides from being at car shows and stuff like that and being on the road. Uh, since we've had it, it's also been kept inside majority of the time. Uh, we have a 30,000 square foot facility, uh, so it's been inside most of the time. Uh, he was a, a not for hire. That private carrier not for hire sticker was his. We left it on there. Uh, we used it for pretty much the same reason he used it for. Uh, anytime I would go into a high auction, a high end auction, I would bring the trailer with me uh, to bring the vehicles back here as opposed to paying a company and waiting on them uh, to arrive here. Uh, I simply don't have time uh, to bring the trailer with me to these shows. A lot of the ones I fly to. Uh, or if I drive, I want to get in and out, so I don't have time to sit there and load up vehicles. Uh, the trailer has literally been sitting uh, on jacks to not flatten its tires for the last year. Uh, our business is growing very, very fast. I bought it when we were a smaller company, uh, and to save money on transportation fees, I bought it, um, and it's just not getting used at all. We haven't had a vehicle on it in over a year, and it's just an absolutely beautiful trailer uh, for somebody not to own never had any problems with the trailer absolutely as nice as you're gonna get uh, i'm gonna go over the entire trailer for you guys i mean that even shows the old inspection 913 that's when it was due so it was inspected the year before that uh, so that's right when we got it uh, so that goes to show uh, how little use we've had on it uh, everything works exactly as it should uh, the jacks the high i mean everything is absolutely perfect breakaway uh, brake was just replaced on it uh, now the only wear and tear on this entire trailer uh, you have a little gouge area right there um, and I, that swung open i believe and hit that um, but that's really about it and then on the side step right there you have a little dented area right there and that was there when we bought it uh, i also want to point out too that this protect, uh, particular feather light has every single option uh, that they come with. If you look at a lot of a lot of the three car feather lights out there, they don't have the side step going all the way down. And let me tell you right now, that is just absolutely a must when you're uh, strapping down vehicles. You have that. You can get to the frame easy, get to the hooks. Um, so without that, it's almost near impossible. And uh, as you see, it's in great condition. Uh, this also has the extended uh, f uh, flares, uh, wheel wells as well. A lot of them, if you look at them, don't have that. You got about six inches, so this one you can actually step on as well. It's very, very strong. It doesn't bow or buck. I'm 200 pounds, so it's absolutely sturdy as can be, made to walk on. Uh, we did replace, uh, I want to say, four tires uh, when we got the trailer. Uh, with Carlisle uh, tires. All the other tires are DOT date approved and everything else so the tires are good to go. Um, you're all good there. Uh, as you see it's got the reflectors going all the way down the side which gives it a nice look as well. I'll go ahead and show you this portion of the trailer here in a moment but let me get around to this other side. 
The white paneling is in great condition. The only thing that I would do, I, I like a good looking trailer uh, with a nice setup. Uh, I, I actually tow with the same exact vehicle, but a 13 model uh, LTZ. Uh, only thing that I would do to spice this up is maybe change the lug nuts out a little bit. Uh, they do show some wear, but besides that, it's a gorgeous trailer. Uh, all the auctions that I've attended, uh, there's a lot of three car Kaufman trailers there, stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people just uh, give me nice comments about how nice this trailer looks and it looks beautiful going down the road as well. So very functional trailer, rare trailer, pretty trailer. I mean, this thing goes absolutely great down the road. Uh, I've been in some of my buddies' uh, setups where they have Kaufman steel trailers, and uh, they ride awful compared to this. I mean, this thing just floats down the road. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside, uh, which is technically a sleeper. Uh, we've never obviously used it for that. Uh, with both doors, uh, the aluminum carries through. You got your deep storage pockets on both doors. Uh, nice uh, leather throughout. Uh, you have your removable mattress, which this actually comes off if you want to wash it. Uh, you got your windows, your blinds we stuck down here, but they, they have the pole to hang up here. You have your diamond stitching uh, ceiling right there, which is really nice. Your full spare. Uh, you got hooks up there. Windows do open. You do have power back here. You have lights, more storage back there. And like I said, this actually comes up. So you can take it out and clean and everything else but um just uh, i just really use this for straps and storage and everything else but as you see it's fully functional as a sleeper that's what it's intended for uh very very clean uh previous owner obviously never used that uh as well so it's it stayed really really clean go ahead and walk around to the other side to get underneath the trailer uh, before purchasing this trailer, I probably spent about six hours with the guy. Uh, he was, it was an awesome place to be at his house uh, to see all his cars, but we went over the whole trailer. Uh, all the aluminum is in great condition, uh, but I literally checked. I'm going to get down here for you guys. I checked every single weld on this trailer, and there's not one weld that has cracking in it. Now, I'm not going to go out and point through every single weld but as you see the underneath of this trailer is absolutely perfect all the way through Now the only thing that has uh, rust on the trailer are the obviously the components that are not aluminum being these swivel D-rings. And uh, let me just tell you, these swivel D-rings are fully functional. Uh, it's really surface dust. There's no corroding, uh, deteriorating metal. Uh, they could probably be sandblasted in a, in a cabinet. And uh, we have a cabinet and we could have done that. But what I went ahead and did is, uh, is I bought all brand new uh, swivel D-rings which I will include uh, they're up there and I'll show you those shortly and we also installed these 11,000 pound grade 8 hardware uh, D-rings and we also put uh, gaskets in the back so they don't scratch up if they get removed or whatever so those D-rings as you see uh, are mounted all the way up anywhere where a tire would be and I really did it to any configuration, whether you have uh, just two cars on here, uh, you're mostly always going to have straps here, so you're taking care of there. But the way they're spaced out, they're just not randomly spaced out. The way the spacing is, is if I have one car on here, uh, there's D-rings where uh, a car SUV would be two cars separated, the whole nine. So uh, no matter what kind of configuration you have on here car-wise, uh, you're going to have plenty of places uh, to strap up safely and secure and everything else. So uh, once again, D-rings, uh, fully functional, um, but we have brand new ones. So, um, and they go all the way up. Uh, this, the roller, we do have the roller down there as well. 
more swivel D-rings, your winch plate right there. Another really nice thing about this solid floor too, is none of it's uh, bowing up. Uh, a, lot, a lot of solid floor trailers, when you drive over them with the car, the car smashes it down. And uh, this is just, I mean, the trailer is like in brand new condition, absolutely phenomenal. So here are all your brand new, uh, and we bought these uh, right after we bought the trailer. Uh, but that just goes to show we literally use this trailer uh, maybe 10 times total uh, got very little use out of it um, so Everything's new and I'll show you some stuff that we have over there as well Like it's hard to you know usually on a solid trailer when you jump on this the floor will start uh, bowing up and down and start popping and uh, I mean I I've had uh, excursions on here and everything else and it doesn't bow at all uh, another thing you have a nice I'm gonna have to put this camera down real quick. you got your pop-in uh, aluminum ramps in there and those are uh, very, very long aluminum ramps uh, go to our website too, uh, davisautosports.com uh, we deal with a lot of exotic cars sports cars and that's really the main reason I got this uh, the ramps are very very long uh, I rarely had to use any sort of ramps or boards beyond those to get any car. I've had Corvettes on here, all sorts of stuff. But I also have 12 foot long extended race ramps. Uh, they're about $900. Uh, we've used them probably six or seven times. Uh, so if you're interested in those, they're an absolute must for Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsche, uh, any GT motorsport car. Uh, so we have those as well uh, if, if you're going to be hauling exotic cars. Um, have all your accessories here. Uh, you got your roller, uh, your flare and everything, uh, your, you, all your little miscellaneous stuff, your wheel chalks. And, and this is just uh, extra straps. Uh, we have two other trailers, enclosed trailers, so we're keeping a majority of our straps. But uh, we have a lot of, uh, I think these are about 16 foot. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are brand new right here, eight, nine. You got nine or 10. 16 foot uh, tire straps um, then a couple other miscellaneous one axles and then you have about 15 long uh, extensions in there so just some nice miscellaneous stuff to go along with it um, so that's it if you guys have any questions about this trailer uh, please feel free to call me directly uh, on my cell phone 202-491-9929 uh, we do ha obviously have a clean and clear title uh, for this trailer uh, as far as the year goes, I believe it's a 90 or 91. Uh, I could be off a little bit on that, um, but I bought it according to the, the condition. Uh, I saw other trailers much newer that were nowhere near the condition. Uh, this, the guy that I got it from, uh, he actually sold this trailer to me because he actually bought a three car enclosed feather light uh, just due to the how high end his vehicles were. Um, the guy had more money than he knew what to do with it, so he wanted to go off and buy a $150,000 trailer, if not more. So he had it custom painted to his F550 and everything else. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, once again, 202-491-9929. Thank you.